What's going on by YouTubers? It is your boy Ghostface Gaming back once again with another video upload for you guys. Yeah, I put this right in front of my intro. This is a Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 52 review slash discussion, right? I've been having some problems with my equipment, like I said, so this is what's going on with this. I'm going to break this down into three parts. Right now, we're going to concentrate on what initially happened. If you already uh, are following or liking my Ghostface Gaming page on Facebook, then you know I already uploaded Chapter 52. So, you know, the beginning of Chapter 52, it starts with Vegeta getting to Yardrat, but we're going to leave that for another discussion. What we're going to discuss right here, as you can see, where we left off in Chapter 51, some of Moro's soldiers that he given power to were on their way to Earth, and we knew they was going to run into the Z-Fighters. Well, guess who's the first person they run into? Piccolo. Piccolo was meditating on field of Namekians, so he was telling Dende something has to be up, something's going on in the universe. I can't feel the Namekians. So then he feels their power coming. So like I say, Piccolo's the first one to meet him out there. They're pretty much jobbers, we know that. And they're pretty much jabronis, but it's some things that went on in the first couple panels right here that, you know, a lot of the fandom really didn't appreciate because it was out of Piccolo's character. For the most part, what we got in this chapter was the beginning of Vegeta's training and a good bulk of the chapter, even though it bounced back and forth between three different perspectives, a good bit of this chapter was this right here, what you see. As you can see, Piccolo's on top of the ship. He's asking them, you know, who are y'all? Are y'all part of the disturbance that's here on Earth? You know what I'm saying? And, I mean, in the universe, and they play coy. Like, nah, we just stranded, blase, blase. And then they attack Piccolo. Worst thing they could ever do. As you can see right here, this is after they had shot at him, which that panel will be coming up. I think I got him going backwards a little bit. But as you can see, he's on top of the ship after he shot them. <laughs> so Piccolo gets in a nice little battle with these people. And like I said, they're jobbers, man. They're, they're relatively weak. This here is when they shot him. And they're relatively weak. They get to fighting Piccolo. One girl does like a stretch move with her arms and... You know, Piccolo hits him with the 52 fake out and does his all because, as you know, Piccolo, he can increase and decrease his size and he can also chain, uh, stretch his arms as well. Which, in a hint, in a sense, in hindsight, that plays an integral part as far as Vegeta's training goes. Like I said, it's going to be another video, but I will speak on that. Vegeta goes to Yardrat you know seeking some special power or special technique and the elder Yardradian tells him now nah, I don't know what you came looking for but obviously you've been mistaken we don't have no special technique for you to be able to fight Moro but what we do do is called spirit control or as Goku called it key control so at the basis of what I'm saying is Goku and Vegeta are taking different paths to power this is which I like about this right now Because it was evident in the other chapter when they had to leave Planet Nabic and Vegeta was like, stupid god power, stupid magic, Saiyans rely on their power. This just won't work. That was like probably one of the biggest defeats to Vegeta's ego and pride since probably fighting Android 18 and she broke his arm. You remember that? Uh, Dragon Ball Z when he finally achieves Super Saiyan and he runs up on Android 18 and she kicks him and breaks his shit and then blocks Trunk's sword with her arm after he just diced up Mecha Freezer. Yeah. So like I say, the fight ensues and Piccolo ends up beating him and he asks him, you know, the detective questions, you know, what are you doing here? Do you got... Are you part of the disturbance in the universe? And they tell him no. Piccolo lets them go. You know, this. I don't know if it's, you know, that over time he's gotten a little soft. Because, you know, he raised Gohard and he be babysitting Pan. But this is not the Piccolo that we know. You know, Piccolo would have, like, asked them questions and they ain't come up off the information. He just went ahead and blast them. So what ends up happening is he ends up letting them go. 
Boma, Hercule, and Dende come to Piccolo and tell him, no, don't let him go. They're part of Moro's clique. This, this, is that, and the third. So Piccolo blows him up. Pretty much apprehends and arrests them, but they already were able to get their signal off to Moro. So in the next chapter, Moro is sending more goons, stronger goons, stronger scouts, to really see how strong the Earthlings are before he comes and decides to devour the planet so that was a problem within the story itself you know piccolo kind of doing a a, a, a pig-headed move that's kind of outside of character so i could see where some people had some issues with that they also have some issues with goku's new training i do and i don't have issues with it that's going to be a whole separate video it is Thank you.